my favorite students. We're back here with another 2D problem. This is still chapter three. We're still talking about some of the forces on a particle, okay? Um, we've got some kind of crazy system over here. I don't know who in the world would wire that up like that to hold a 200 pound weight, the world's worst maintenance guy, I don't know. But anyway, the things that we're gonna kind of learn today on this problem, here are some of the concepts. We're gonna, it is gonna take more than one free body diagram to solve that problem. You know what they want us to do? They wanna find the tension in every single cable. So that cable, that cable, that cable, that one, and that one, right? So I gotta find them all. So it's gonna take more than one free body. So how do I do that? Um, slope triangles. Now we've talked about slope triangles before, but every single angle in this whole problem is defined with slope triangles. So we're gonna, we better be good at it because there's a lot of them here, okay? And then the last thing is substituting forces. Uh, we're gonna have to, we'll find from one free body some information and then take that to the next free body to solve that free body and from there to the next one, the next one, the next one, until we get it all done. So how do you do a problem like this? I don't know. Well, I'm with you, okay? We've never worked this kind of problem before. I've never worked this problem before. So I'll solve it with you. We'll see if we get the same thing, okay? We'll hopefully get it right on the first try. So here's what we've got. Number one, you gotta kinda get to understand what we've got going on. We've got a pulley here with a rope going around it. Oh, right off the bat, we remember, what do we know about a rope going around a pulley? Tension on this side, whoop, same as the tension on that side, okay? And also, DC is like horizontal, okay? It's perfectly straight, as you can tell from my drawing, probably not. Um, and then we've got angle here, angle there, and angle there. So on these problems, here's where you, so this is a 2D problem. So how many equations do we have? Two, okay? All you're gonna have to solve this problem is the sum of the forces in the X and the sum of the forces in the Y. That's it, okay? So you better not draw a free body diagram of any point on this whole thing that has more than two unknowns, right? So if I started with D, for instance, right? If I start there, well, that D's got one, two, three, four cables hooked to it that I don't know the tension of. That's a bad place to start. A has one, two, three cables. That's a bad place to start. So we need to start down here at the one thing that I know, and that is this weight down here. So here's my free body diagram cookie cutter. I am going to examine what's going on with that pulley right there, okay? So this is a nice, easy thing to look at, okay? Here's what I've got. Now, remember, if I know the tension on one side, I know the tension on the other side. So if this is T, then this is T. Well, then this is pretty easy, isn't it? Because I can do, right quick, I can do the sum of the forces in the y direction on this and say, oh, okay, um, 2t minus 200 has to equal zero. Put the 200 on the other side and divide it by two and t is equal to 100, right? So if, if that's 100, then that's 100, okay? So there you go. So now that, that tells us that this cable right here is 100 pounds. And this cable over here is 100 pounds. So could I do joint D now? Well, how many unknowns do I have? One, two, three. No, better not go there yet. What about joint A? Ooh, that's good, right? Here's joint A. Okay, let's do a free body of joint A. Okay, joint A goes like this. Here he is. He's got a cable going there and a cable going there, and one going straight down, okay? So this is AB, and this is, um, ooh, we'll put a T there for tension, and this is TAD, okay? So already, this, this cable um, A, we'll call it AD, right? Cable AD, well, we, <sighs> We can't call it AD. Let's call this, um, I don't know. We'll put a point down here. We can call, let's see, we've got A, B, C, D. We'll call this point F, okay? So we got cable A, let's call it A, F, D, okay? Which is this whole cable right here, okay? That's 100 pounds. That's one of them, right? And we gotta find all of these, right? We gotta find T, A, B, and we gotta find 
TAD. Who else do we have to find? We have to find DC. And we have to find DE. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So here we are. This guy, 100 pounds. Okay. Now, here we go. What do we have? We have a vector at an angle. We need to break it into components. Let me get a colored pen. Okay. Let's do it green. So this guy here has two components. One there and one there. This guy has two components. One there and one there. Okay. So let's see if we can label these. Now we're using those slope triangles here. Okay. So let's look at first AB, this guy. Okay. Now look, it says three, four. Where's the five? Well, you're supposed to already know that that side is a five. Okay. So remember this, the X component is the X side of the triangle over the hypotenuse, right? So this guy over here is, what is the X side? Three. Three fifths TAB. And this guy, the Y component, is the Y side over the hypotenuse. So this guy is four fifths TAB. Okay, let's do TAD. Here's TAD. Oh, he's much steeper, isn't he? Which triangle is this? 512, the hypotenuse is. Da, da, da. It's a 13, right? That's a special triangle. You see it a lot. Okay, the 5, 12, 13. So again, the, the X component is the X side over the hypotenuse. So the X component is 5 thirteenths TAD. And the Y component is the Y side over the hypotenuse. So that guy is 12 thirteenths TAD. Okay? And that, boy, look how easy. Once you get that labeled, how easy is it going to be to write the forces in the X and the force in the Y. Easy cheesy lemon squeezy. Sum of the force in the X equals zero equals what? Three fifths TAB uh, minus this guy, minus five thirteenths TAD. Okay. Oh, you know what this looks like? It looks like two equations, two unknowns, doesn't it? Sum of the forces in the Y equals zero equals, what do we got in the Y? I got these two guys going uphill. So 12 thirteenths TAD. Oh, let me, let me do, I want to do it different. Okay, I'm, again, I want to keep these in nice orderly columns. Okay, so I'm going to erase that. I'm going to put the AB first because it's AB first here. So four fifths TAB. And then plus this guy, plus 12 thirteenths TAD. And then finally, minus 100. Okay? Now, I'm going to get my calculator, my calculator, and do, let's say this is, a, I'll do it in a different color. Let me get my other calculator because this one doesn't have system solver on it. All right, here we go. And I'm just going to simplify these equations so that I've put it in my calculator real easy. Watch this. This is cool. 3 over 5 is 0.6 TAB minus, ooh, I don't know what that is, 5 divided by 13, 0.385 TAD, okay, equals 0, and then this guy, 0 0.8 TAB plus 12 divided by 13 is 0.923. 0.923 TAD, and then I'm going to move the 100, since he's negative, I'll move him to the other side, where he becomes positive, okay? Now look what I have there. I got two beautiful equations. My ABs are in a column, my ADs are a column. Perfect thing for doing my system solver here, so I go second, system solve, two by two, and I just put these in, right? 0. 0.6, enter, minus 0.385, enter, and then zero, enter, and then 0.8, enter, and then 0.923, enter, and then finally 100, enter, and then I just click solve, right? Boom. And it gives it to me. It says TAB is equal to 44.67.
and that is, I forgot what my units are. Oh, these are all in pounds, aren't they? Pounds. You can put LBS. I like hashtag because that's just a little shortcut way to write pounds. And then uh, TAD, my system solver also gave me TAD, is a uh, 69.6. Okay. Now, you know, I like the system solver. If you want me to show you how to do all this plugging and chugging, you need to go watch my series on algebra. So, okay, so look over here. We got TAB now, 44.67 pounds. And we got TAD, 69.62 pounds. We got two to go, two to go. So how do we get the last two? Well, let's erase the board. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and race this because we know where these came from now. Okay, and we're, we're going to do the same thing except we have a new free body. Okay, and the new free body is now we're going way up here. Okay, why? Because now I know this guy. This guy is uh, AD is uh, 69.62. So for that free body of joint D now, uh, I know everything except for the last two things that I'm looking for there, right? Because you know why? Because we still haven't found what we're looking for. Okay, that's really bad. Sorry I had to sing to you. Okay, here we go. All right, remember cables can only pull. Cables are always in tension, okay? So cable, cable, cable. Cable, and let's see, this cable, I know he's 100. I found him a long time ago. This cable over here is, we found him 69.62. This one, I have no idea, that's TDC. And then this guy over here is TDE. Okay, what should we do now? You know what? We have vectors at angles, so you know what we should do? We should break them into components, shouldn't we? This guy has one here, one there, one here, one there. And we're going to use the same trick for our slope triangles here, right? So this guy over here is 5 thirteenths of 69.62. And then this guy right here is 12 thirteenths of 69.62. And then let's see, up here, I have this slope triangle, right? So the X side here is going to be 4 fifths TDE. And this is going to be 3 fifths TDE. So I hope you're catching on to those sl that slope triangle trick. It's super handy and it's a nice little shortcut versus Converting all these into angles and then messing with the angles, that's really easy to do, the little fraction trick, isn't it? Okay, so here we go. Let's write our last two equations. We Looks like we may have to use our system solver again. Mm, maybe not. Here, let's try. Some of the forces in the x equals zero. Some of the forces in the y equals zero. Okay, look how easy it is. We've got all this broken into x and y. It's going to be easy, right? In the x direction, I have what? Well, I got... Um, that guy, so 5 thirteenths of 69.62. Well, that's just a number. Um, I've got, ooh, I've got a, just a plain old TDC over there, plus TDC. And then I've got this guy, which is going in the negative direction. So minus 4, fit, four fifths, yep. Almost, I was like, what, is that right? TDE, okay? So 1x, there's an x, and there's an x. So there's three of them that have x components. And in the y direction, what do we have? In the positive, I've got a 3 fifths TDE. I have mm, 100 going downhill. And I've got this guy going downhill. And I'm kind of I'm kind of digging the y equation. Are you kind of digging the y equation? Because it's only got one unknown in it, doesn't it? So I'm fixing to get an answer like right now. So here we go. 100. Oh, clear, clear. 100 plus. Um, ooh, 
I'm going to do that differently. 12 divided by 13 equals times 69.62 equals, that's 64.26, add that to 100 plus 100, and then multiply that by 5, and then divide that by 3. And you get 273.77. Okay, so TDE is 273.77 pounds. I didn't have to use System Solver that time because this guy just has all numbers. It's only got one unknown, right? So now I can come back and plug that into there. And I got this lick now, don't I? Okay, so let's see. TDC is equal to 0.8 times what we just found, right? Which is 219, 219 even, um, minus whatever that is, right? 5 divided by 13 equals times 69.62, 26.78. Right? Uh, so there you go. So 219.01 minus answer equals 192.23. And there you go. Those are the last two things we're missing. DC, 192.23 pounds and DE, 273.77. Okay, so how do you like that technique there? We're taking and we're looking at start, if you gotta find something, start with the one thing that has the least amount of unknowns and then work your way across that whole system, uh, jo analyzing one joint at a time, doing one free body at a time of your concurrent vectors, okay? We are so good, y'all. All right, I hope that wraps it up. That's about all the, all the 2D stuff I can think of. Next, we're going to start some 3D problems. Hang on.